Yo, G-Man talking about dogs and evolution. That was important to me. So anyway, I'm going to screen share something with you guys here. He was dealing with, um, I think I'll just show you what we're doing. Uh, you, can, you should all be able to see this chart here. And this is dealing with... Um, Anthropology, okay? Human evolution and genetic anthropology. The eight family tree, human evolution, uh, genetics, I think. The eight family tree, human evolution and genetic uh, anthropology, okay? And what we have here, even though this might be a bit goofy, we'll put this together. Uh, I can find something a little bit more serious like this or this here, just make you more happy. That's goofy too. These are skulls here. Um, let's just stick with this for the sake of the conversation. It's not so much that we need to go forward. We would need to go backwards to be able to prove that a dog eventually has to become a dog. A human being or a homo sapien is clearly not a monkey. The reason why we know that a homo sapien is not a monkey, a monkey is a primate, and a, hom and a homo sapien is a human. We know that monkeys and humans are two different are two different uh, uh, are two different things. I'm gonna put it that way. Or in science, I guess you could say that they're two different species. That's that point. would be accurate. Uh, two, I'm gonna say two different kinds. That would right? be incorrect. Because, well, okay, for, for the theory of evolution to work, let's just use the word species. All right. Because it's the correct word. We have um, a monkey here that throws poop at people and throws pe poop at other monkeys. They don't peel the animals. They don't peel the bananas before they eat it. Eat the banana straight up. All right. And their nature and their demeanor and how they sleep. They don't wear clothes. They don't do a bunch of different things. So there are clear differences between a monkey and a human. So the <laughs> so the differences that G Man mentions between a monkey and humans, Homo sapiens, are that a. Uh, Monkeys will throw feces, not peel bananas, and not put on clothes. Okay, uh, that sounds accurate. Actually, there are Homo sapiens that will throw feces. Uh, they're called crazy. And um, actually, you know what? You're wrong, G-Man. There are humans that will throw feces, they will eat bananas without peeling them, and uh, they will go around naked. They're called crazy people. So, G-Man, you're wrong. That was a bad example. Terrible example. How does a monkey go from being this? How does a monkey go from being this? He has to go through small changes to become this first, right? How does a monkey go to being a gorilla? Or being related to a gorilla. A monkey will not become a gorilla. Small changes over time. Okay. I don't know if this is the best chart in the world. It's not. Um, I might try to find something else here. Um, let me see something here. Because like I said, I, 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 this is kind of it. goofy, the one here. But Did you see what he just skipped? Find something else here. Um, let me see something here. Because, like I said, I, 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 I this is boom. Now, God damn it! Breaking character here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me do full screen now. G man, why didn't you stick with this one? This actually looks pretty good. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Now, I'm not even going to try to pronounce these words, but 
this looks like a pretty good graph or whatever. So we have this thing. Homo something. We have that. And it branched off into two separate things. We have that. And then we have that. And then this one branched off into another thing, which is way down there. But that, uh, that other one that branched off, branched off twice. It went this way and it went that way. And then that one branched off again. And then that one that was branching off that other way branched off two more times. Look at that. And then that one branched again. And then that one right there that was branching on the other side, that branched off two more times. And then the freaking double time right there. Homo. Homo. Look at that. This looks like a much better uh, depiction or graph or I don't know. But this looks like a way better I uh, idea of how evolution happens. As you can see, if you follow the homo, not me, I never see the chimpanzee or the gorilla or the monkey. No, because, oh, they branched off another way. So maybe the chimpanzee the bonobo, they're the chimpanzees that like to fuck. And the gorilla, look at that. All of us came from something. We didn't come from each other. We came from something else. This looks like a much better graph, G-Man. Why didn't you use this graph? You dishonest little son of a bitch, you. This is kind of goofy, the one here. But that but one I is goofy. Get my point, basically. In order to get here, this monkey has to undergo small changes and get different names. So, in other words, a dog will have to become a non-dog. Okay? This is a monkey. As eventually, after all these changes, according to evolution, is over millions and 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 millions of years, going through a whole bunch of mutations, environment changes, eventually you're going to get a human being, right? All these changes. How is the, the, the comment I'm making about a monkey becoming a non-monkey going against evolution? I was saying that a dog is going to become a non-dog over a long period of time against evolution. You're I don't know what you're talking about. a million about. years, a monkey is always going to be a monkey? Well, if that's true, why is a tetrapod not always being a tetrapod? You understand what I'm saying? The dishonesty that we see with people in the scientific community is really giving science a bad name. If the first animal that scientists want to um, talk about, like where all life came from, you're going to say it came from a tetrapod or whatnot. Not all life, where everything that, that, that uh, things that we evolved from came from a tetrapod. Then a tetrapod has to produce another tetrapod. And another tetrapod. And this, ha this has to happen forever. Because if it doesn't, then it's not evolution. But if a dog becomes a non-dog over billions of years, with the example that I gave in this video, how does that make any sense? That is a form of... I don't have the patience to deal with this right now. But um, let me address that real quick. That 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 dog becoming a... Like, when, when does a dog become a non-dog or whatever? Okay. Here's when a dog becomes a non-dog, G-Man, okay? When so much when so much change has happened to this animal that humans decide to call it something else. That is when a dog becomes not a dog. When humans decide why is there a difference between a hamster and a rabbit? Humans decided there's a difference. 
humans decided there's a difference between, between amphibians, reptiles, warm-blooded animals. We decided this just to better understand and communicate with each other. Okay. Humans decide. If aliens from outer space came to Earth and they took a look inside the planet, they might they might look at Earth and, and say, hey, this planet has two things on it. It has things that are alive and things that are not alive. This planet's got two things. That's interesting. But just like that graph, we make like subcategories so that it branches out branches out I think <laughs> I think <laughs> oh 